All right. Um, hello, welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining. Um, my name is Amit. Uh, I am a creative director for Promo. And today we're going to show you an overview of Promo AI, how it works, a few insights into my workflow, um, a few examples of videos and how to create them, and a few tips. Um, I'm a, I've allowed Q&A, so please feel free to type your questions during this presentation. I'll check on them periodically. Um, okay, so let's start. We all know content is king and video rules. It's a great way to engage with audience. In fact, it's almost needed by far today for almost every social media platform. And we know that creating content can be a hassle. It takes time, it costs money to produce. So what Promo AI attempts to offer users is an easy way to ideate and create engaging video content at a fraction of the time and cost. Um, what it covers is ideation, video ideation, and we'll show that, production through our online uh, system, through Promo AI and the editor, scheduling and publishing all in one tool. So ideation, production, scheduling, publishing in one tool. And today we're gonna cover these topics. So we're gonna cover a few of the basics, which is how to create videos and how to publish and download them. We're gonna cover a little bit of editing, mainly using the ch chat editor, which is a feature in Promo AI, which is really groundbreaking and helps uh, cut a lot of time. And using the classic editor for more like a manual approach and, and fine tweaking your videos. And during that part, we're gonna cover a little bit of branding, a little bit of insights on footage selection, text styling, outro and logo design, and adapting for ratios. And at the end, we're gonna have more time for questions. So I'll jump into it. Whoops. Um, for today's um, uh, client, I've chosen the agency, which is a real estate agency featured on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, one of my favorite shows. And we're just going to use them as a test client just to show you how it works with them. Basically, all we need is a web domain address. And we're going to jump into promo. So when you go into promo now, this is your homepage. It's, it's a calendar view, a monthly view of your videos that you've uh, uh, scheduled. We already have a few here, which I did beforehand, but we're gonna do some together. Um, you can have a monthly view or a weekly view if you prefer to look at videos like that. Sometimes if you have more than one video a day, then they're stacked one on top of the other. So a weekly view is, is a good way to look at things. And, uh, but I'm gonna switch back to the monthly just because we're gonna cover a few more videos. So this is a monthly view. You can filter uh, by the platform or by the video, the type of video you created. So if you want to only look at your Facebook posts or a few of them together, or if you want to look at videos suggested by AI or things you've scheduled or drafts you've created using the classic editor, which is also available for Promo AI users. Basically, you can have Pre, uh, we have pre-designed templates, over 4,000 pre-designed templates in different industries that you can use if you don't want to use AI, but we're not going into that today. And we have a few video tutorials, which I've created. You can check them out here and it jumps you to the YouTube channel to watch them. So um, to create a new video, we go to uh, the create new button. As I said, you can do with Promo AI or with pre-designed templates, but we'll start with Promo AI today. And there's two main ways you can create these videos. It's jumped right in because I've always created and it remembers my brand. But the first way is um, by your brand's domain. So as I've said, I've created, I've uh, chosen the agency. This is their domain. All you have to do is put in your website domain and press generate. It automatically fetches some data from your website um, it takes the business name, it knows it, and it takes the description and logo, watermark, and the colors. These can be edited, okay? The best way 
uh, for the description formula we found is actually uh, having the business name, adding the location where you serve, and it can be worldwide if you're, if you're serving a wide audience, a category or niche that sets you apart from your competitors and your target audience. So even though this is a metadata that your the agency's website has provided for me, I would actually change it and call it a real estate agency in California, specializing in, and this is the niche, the category niche. So I'm just gonna make it up real estate um, in, in luxury real estate for millennials. All right, so this is the best formula to type in um, your description. Give, again, I'm saying the business name, the location, the category or niche, what separates you, and a target audience. And um, actually, before I jump in, I want to show you the other way you can start creating videos, and we'll go back to this. So we said there's two ways to create videos. Either you put your website domain, or you can find a specific topic. So for example, um, I, I, I want to create a certain uh, topic for my business. And even if I don't know what that topic is right away, I can use like free tools like generative AI um, la la language model tools. I've used Gemini here and I've asked it, give me 10 topic ideas for content videos for a global luxury real estate agency called The Agency based in Beverly Hills. So it's given me here ideas for topics for videos I can create. I took this one, Globally Luxury Destinations. All right, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to Promo AI. And I'm gonna paste this in here, Global Luxury Destinations. Because I haven't given him my website, so it hasn't fetched my logo, I'm gonna put the description here. So, I can do it either based on my website or based on a topic. So this is how you would basically create a topic video. Don't forget to add your business name and manually add the logo and colors because it hasn't scraped the website. So I'm gonna choose these colors over here. And this is the way to create topic videos. So you have two starting points, website domain or topic. I'm gonna to go back to the website because I've pre-made these videos just before starting the, web the webinar, but I haven't made videos based on the agency just yet. If you have multiple brands, by the way, you can select your brands from a drop-down menu that you've uh, every time you create a brand, basically it saves uh, your favorites, your colors, your logos, and you can quickly add it through there or add a new brand. So one of the things I notice here that the colors for the website aren't going to be great for the video because if the texts are going to be red on gray, they're not going to be super legible. So I want to change this color and make it white. color and make this right. And then just before we click generate, it's important to um, type in how many videos we want, all right? So we're gonna open this. There's two ways you can do videos. You can do up to 30 videos in one batch, which is great if, if you want kind of like a strategy planned out, but also 30 videos is a lot to cover, a lot to look at. I like doing it in maybe like five to seven batches, or you can make them by the weekdays that you, you like uh, scheduling and posting. So for example, you can choose the amount of videos you want, or you can completely start at a different date. And let's say I want Monday through Friday, or instead of daily, I want custom days. I can do it only like on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can choose either way you want, but I'm going to do starting today and I want five videos. So I'm going to do Monday through Friday videos, and these are the dates I want. The videos are just going to be placed in the calendar. They're not going to be scheduled to post until I manually schedule each one. So it won't post them automatically. So don't be afraid of that. And then I'm going to click generate. 
Now, this usually takes up to two minutes unless there's like a major surge and a lot of people that are trying to create videos together, but it shouldn't take more than two minutes. Um, what happens during this phase is basically the Promo AI now reads your website. It takes content from the website, it learns about your business, it matches it to other businesses or other similar uh, businesses in your industry. It aggregates the info and kind of like creates a marketing strategy. So the more videos you do, the more panned out they'll be. These videos can range from marketing videos, content videos, listicle. If there's a holiday on a certain day, it might do a greeting for that day, um, like big events like Christmas or Thanksgiving. And then it uh, writes scripts for each of these videos. Oh, it's already finished. That was pretty fast. So these are the videos I just created. I can see that I somehow accidentally chose white and white. So it hasn't actually done a great job for this. I'm gonna create new videos again. I must have messed up the color. So it remembers my brand. All right. I'm going to make this the red one. This the white one. Haven't I done that? Sorry. And I'm going to choose the videos starting on the 23rd to the 27th. And then I'm going to generate again. So sorry, it was my mistake, human error. I apologize. So as I said, while this is rendering, basically we take the content from the website, we learn the industry, we aggregate all the info and create sort of like a marketing strategy to create a bunch of different videos for, for your business. Um, the system then writes scripts for all these different videos. And then it selects the most relevant footage from Getty Images, which is our partner, and all their video footage and image libraries basically in the back end of Promo AI. And then it edits all these videos together and adds a post copy to each video. So every video you get has the video creative itself and the post copy uh, that you can add to, uh, to that. So these are the second batches I did. See, that was my mistake. Here, I accidentally chose white and it did it on a white background. And then here I chose the right colors. So we have red and white. These videos are the videos I did before for the topic, just before we started the webinar. So we can actually kind of like go over the videos right now. Let's see what videos it did. So we can see it added the branding, all the colors. All the videos are going to be more or less uh, the, on the brand colors. Um, and that's a good thing. So it, it's it's good for your brand that we know those colors and kind of like have same uh, visuals for all the videos. The videos are automatically made in a square ratio just to fit all kinds of platforms. But just pressing a button will uh, automatically re-edit this video in a different format, like a vertical format, if you want to post it as reels or as, as stories for Instagram, for example, or in a wide format, if you want uh, to display the video on the screen or uh, as a showcase in, in the office. So let's look at another video. So this was pretty basic. Um, marketing video.
then it gives a call to action with your uh, info at the end. I think this is like a more informative content video seems to avoid mistakes. So smart. This is the copy post I mentioned before. So it, you can copy paste or just post with this. So this is a content video with a little bit more uh, information in it. Now, these are the videos I made with website. Let's look at the videos I did with the topic, which I did just a few minutes before we started. Um, what is this one? Exquisite fashion experience. So remember, we asked it to do videos about global luxury destinations. All right, let's, sorry. I've jumped forward. Let's try this video again. I don't know why it wasn't playing for the first time. The topic videos, tend to have a little more content, a little more meat to them, they're longer. So if the regular marketing videos, maybe this are up to 30 seconds, which is what you want in social media. The topic videos are more content oriented, they're up to a minute long usually, and they give a little bit more information. All right. Um, Okay, now that we've seen these videos and what they can create, I'm just gonna stop this now. I wanna little give a little bit, a bit of overview of what you can do with this. So as you can see, we have this video. You can change the ratios. You can download this video to your computer for future, future use if you want. Uh, or you can schedule uh, and publish it directly from promo. Now what this requires from you is just uh, syncing your social media accounts beforehand. So it's gonna be really easy, you can do that. I've already synced like three accounts to it. So for example, I want to schedule this video to post on Instagram. So I'm gonna choose, actually, I, I already chose these three, but I'm just gonna choose Instagram. I'm gonna go next. And then we can see this video on the right-hand side. I can choose on Instagram to post it as a post or as a reel. Um, the captions, uh, the text is already included in here. And I can still change the ratio if I want um, through this window. I can ask it to publish it now, or I can schedule it for later. Uh, it's already scheduled on the 26th, but I can change this to October 3rd with the time and it's scheduled. And if I want to um, see a preview of it here, how it would look as, as a post, I can see already here. What I can do after I've done this, if I haven't chosen before, even if I change a word here, I can still copy this and ask it to post the same thing, for example, on my Facebook page. And it just adds another post to the list. All I have to do now is press publish, just review my dates and that this is what I want. And continue to press to publish. It will automatically schedule and publish this post for you on this date at this time, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, that's how you publish. You can download, you can publish. There's a few more options over here. Um, you can export it as an image. You can upload it to uh, your uh, Dropbox. Um, embed or edit the post or share this link with your coworkers if you want like comments on it and uh, before you actually go to publish. Let's just see if we have questions up to now. No questions. All right. Now, um, I wanted to get to the chat editor. 
which is a really cool feature that we offer on Pomo AI. So the chat editor lets you edit a video, as I said, using chat. Basically, you talk to the system and ask it to do things. What can you do with it? I'm just going to open the chat editor. You can open it either from here or from the button beneath the video. It tells you the things you can do, but I'm going to cover them now. You can ask the chat editor to change the video content. So for example, this first frame says wellness retreats. You can ask it change the caption to, I, and then you can either give it something abstract to something uh, more uh, actionable or actually give it. Change the caption to, hello, my name is Amit. this. So you can change the content of the video, just ask it to change the chat the caption. This is editable and you can change it back again. And it changes the content. You can adjust the length of the captions. For example, you can ask it to be shorter or longer as you need, or change the text format, for example. Uh, give it to me in bullet points or step-by-step -step instructions. You can ask, um, I didn't see what this video was about and wellness retreat. You can ask it to add data to the text. So if you have a video and you feel like it's missing just that little bit of information, it goes back. Now what it does in the meantime is it goes back to the internet, it learns a little bit more. So it's giving me more content I felt that it was a little lacking. And it added more things. It went back to the website, read it, and actually helped me get more information into the text. Um, you can focus on your audience. So you can ask it to high, like highlight user pain points. For example, ask it to add product benefits to the text or all kinds of things. By the way, you can kind of like explore by yourself all these things. I'm not sure we know everything that the AI can assist you with because it depends on the industry and how much data you have on your website. Um, you can set the tone. So this is, hello, my name is Amit. I'm gonna ask it to rewrite the, rewrite as Yoda. But obviously you can ask it to rewrite as something more formal, more professional, um, more down to earth, use it, kids, tone of voice, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Yoda is a cute thing I like to do. Okay, so obviously it took Yoda's tone of voice and kind of like twisted the sentences backwards and forwards. Um, you can ask it to uh change the language i think we cover about 36 languages right now all the main ones all the left to right writing languages at least so no hebrew no arabic um but then what you can do is if you have a video you like and you want to uh market it to certain audiences for example spanish-speaking audiences you can target the thing with the spanish um, so it's perfectly translated. And you can also ask it to end with a bang, um, add a clear call to action at the end of the movie, at the outro, or direct viewers to your website if it hasn't done so, or to your Facebook page, et cetera, et cetera. You can ask it to do all these kinds of things. And the last cool thing about it is you can batch these prompts together. So for example, you can ask it to add, add data to the text, change the language to Spanish, and uh, direct users to my Facebook page uh, in the outro. You can type them all in together and it will do those. I'm gonna discard these changes for now and go back to the video. Um, wait, I think we have a few questions here. Let's just cover them. You can you can add uh, okay so who you asked if he can add more detailed com data in the description field so let me just uh, say you can add as much the data as you want in the description field as long as you cover the four the the things I asked you to do which is 
who your target audience is, what your product is, where you serve that product, and what's your differentiation. Um, but it's it's not commands. Commands is only in the chat to edit feature, which I just showed now. So that's like, two, it's two different systems. If you start typing in commands at the beginning, you might get um, like weird results. But it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't add uh, emoticons or anything like that into the video. That's just the text copy, which you can edit later. Um, Patrick asks, is it possible to use your own pre-made videos? Yes, it is. I'll show it right now. And can we ask to rewrite as Gen Z? I think so. Yes, it should work. Um, can you show how to generate the topic video again with the AI? I only see the business on my account. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to show that really quickly before we move on to the classic editor. So when you're creating videos, when you create new videos with Promo AI, it remembers your last screen. So maybe um, Lisa, maybe that's why you're seeing your business because you've already entered your business, so it knows it. But if you just go one step back, then you can enter your website address or a topic here. You, it will know if it's a topic or a, a website, all right? So this is my topic. Or you do www my website. If you already see your business info, that means you just have to go one step back. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to my videos. So we've, we haven't completely covered the chat to edit feature just yet. I just want to show more things. We've learned how to change the content. It's basically just adding your commands into the edit box. What you can also do, and this answers uh, Patrick, is uh, edit the visuals. So for example, this first visual, I don't like it. Change the... Uh, footage to a house near the beach. So what it does now um, is it's gonna give you options for it. So it doesn't change it, the footage automatically for you. It basically opens uh, Getty's image library or footage library um, by your command. So you can ask it to change the footage if you just ask to change the footage, it will open this library without house beach. But because I asked to change it to a house near the beach, it already brought that command in. I can choose between videos and photos, or I can use my uploads. Now, I haven't uh, uploaded many things here, but these are the things I've upload, uploaded in the past. So they're here. Oh, this is me in the desert. But basically, if you press upload here, you can upload any footage you want from your own private library, and it will add it to your video library, either photos or videos, or using Getty images. So I like this image uh, of this yacht by a house. I'm gonna ask it to replace with this, and it's replaced, all right? So that's how I change a clip. It's super easy. By the way, Again, I'm just going to say change the clip again, just to show you if I don't specify house by the beach, then what it does is it will open the search for the last video. So this is what it searched for when it looked for footage. So it just opens the same thing, but you can change this here to whatever you like. All right, so you can change the videos from top to bottom uh just by accent asking it to change the clips um you can obviously go back to uh changing the text now if you want another thing you can do is change the music i don't like this music change to uplifting fun music right the thing about music is i mean it's library music obviously so you can't like give specific songs so you can give kind of like the genre you want. Another thing you can do here is play with the text position. So I don't like the text being centered here. I want to move them down. 
one thing to remember when you ask to change text positions is basically the screen is split up into like nine squares. So there's top left, top center, top right, center, center, center left, etc. So when you ask to change text position, um, this one is in the middle, move text to bottom. So bottom is gonna be just bottom center. All right, so it moves it. Uh, it only moved the first one. Uh, it, it moved all the text when I asked to change the text, which is a good thing. But you can ask it, change the text on clip two, if you want to be specific. Uh, I'm going to discard this. I want to say one more thing before we move on to the classic editor. AI is a great feature, and it really helps cut times and costs when you're doing it almost rarely a hundred percent. So that's why I also said I like to generate like five to seven clips because they still need a little bit of editing touch. By the way, just as humans do, uh, when I uh, have editors doing my videos, we always have a creative session where I give comments and they go back to work. So the AI is kind of like a worker in that sense. So, but what it is, is, is a great ideator. There's a lot of amazing ideas for me to start off my week if I'm marketing my uh, luxury real estate brand. I don't have to like start from zero my week. So it gives me a lot of great ideas. There's a lot of things I might change or, or tweak, but it's a great startup venture. It's, got, it's gotten me like 70 or 80% of the way to start my marketing creative work. That's I think the best thing about it, even if it's not 100% because it's, it's still in diapers, right? It will still evolve. Um, Let's see if I have more. If my videos are, uh, I'm just gonna go to questions for a second and then I'm gonna go back to the classic editor. If my videos are really specific, full allergy, can we ask for sources where AI is getting me the info for the videos? You can't ask the sources because it kind of like, uh, it, it does its own thing in the background. It's not as specific as that. But the more specific you are with the topic when you ask for videos, I think you'll get more interesting results. So you kind of like play with your prompts at the beginning. Um, Leticia asked. Lisa, thank you, you're welcome. Sumyant just wrote your name, so I'm not sure uh, what you want. All right, moving on. We've covered the chat editor. Now uh, I wanna talk about the classic editor because this chat editor is really great. It really saves a lot of time, but sometimes I really want a manual touch. So any video I want to edit, I can still edit with a Chrome's classic editor. Um, all I have to do is press the three dots here and press edit video. Um, the only thing about the classic editor is you have to know is once you've edited something with a classic editor, you can't re-edit it with the AI chat editor because the AI chat doesn't know anymore all the data in it because you've changed it manually. It has no control over it. You can always still edit it manually as much as you want. You just can't use the chat editor anymore. So if you go to the classic editor, just know the chat to edit feature will no longer be available for that video. Okay, so why do I wanna to go to the um, classic editor? First of all, I'm just gonna give a little bit of overview. It's a pretty simple and basic. We have the timeline under here. These are the clips that we're using. These are the texts, the captions over each of the clips. Um, over here, we have the editor. I can choose media or music from our library if we want. And Every, every time you want to edit something, for example, I want to edit each one of these captions, I just press on it and then I get all the text styles. For example, I don't love this text style. I want to choose another one. I like this one, so I'm going to choose it. I can change my colors however I want. Uh, I can change the font if I choose to have a different one. I mean, it should, the font, it should be good because this is your website's font, so it should be your brand's font, and you don't want to play around with fonts too much, but you can still do that. You can change uh, between uh, caps lock or original text, and you can move the text around on the screen uh, with the alignment. 
You can also, um, there's a lot, there's like 60 something different textiles that you can choose from, just if you want like a different visual for that. I think like, like my, my, my thing would, would be to say, don't overdo it with choosing different uh, animations because you want sort of a visual consistency when you do a video. So the most I would choose was it would be like one textile for the intro frame if you want to have like a big like um, uh, title frame, and then all the all the inner parts I would leave the same textile. Whether it's you choose this one, then just choose it on all on all of the screens because once you start choosing different things or choosing a lot of different colors, it, it creates kind of, it, it, it's not a clean visual. It's, it's, a, it's a messy visual and it keeps people distracted. At the end of the day, the most imp important thing about this video is getting your message across, okay? So the all the design should help the message get across. It should help legibility. So that's why I always choose um, fonts or, or textiles or animations that help users read. Remember, this video is gonna be a, quite small uh, on somebody's uh, uh, iPhone or whatever. Usually uh, people look at these things on their, on, their, on their mobile screens, right? So you're actually looking at a bigger version of what the video should be. Keep it legible, keep it clean with design. So choose whatever style you like and want and works for you, but then kind of like keep consistency during the video. So one thing would be choosing uh, for good legibility is choosing a textile that has background. But if you want to choose a textile, for example, that doesn't have a background, that's word only, don't be embarrassed to make the words larger. So that's something that could help, again, keeping in mind that this video is going to be um, on a small screen. Another thing you can do is uh, make the background darker. So you can add like a color filter to the background a little bit. You can still see the visual, but now the text pops out a lot more. All right. So that's a great hack for, for helping with legibility. You can choose the color uh, to be something with your brand colors, if you like. And once you, if you like it, so you see this is with the opacity color filter in the background versus without. It's much more legible. Um, and you can once you've chosen like this color background, you can apply it to all the screens, right? So it's applied to all of them, and now everything should be a little clearer and more legible. Another thing you can do to help with legibility is choose a clean background. So, for example, let's take this house. I mean, I like the image; it's a good image of a house with a pool, but it's a little. It's it's. It's a little crowded. There's a lot of things going on. So there's like this, I don't know, kitchen in next to the pool and then this deck and then these chairs and the houses and the palm trees. I might want to replace this um, with, with a clear visual because at the end of the day, again, these, these videos are gonna be quite small. So for example, I mean, and then I can ask to replace this video with this one. So this visual is a lot clearer. It still gives me, I think, uh, the kind of like luxury I want to do with the pool house, but it's much clearer to me to see this text right now because there's like one image, person's in the pool. It's not, it's not very complicated like the other one was. So I like to choose clear, concise, focused images. They help a lot with the legibility of the video, and that's very important at the end of the day. Um, so again, 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go back on the things I, I've kind of like um, said right now. Choosing clear visuals, helping legibility at all costs, um, keeping like a one scale of colors, even if you want to to change a little bit in between colors, kind of like keep it on the same scale. Um, keep your your text as large and legible as you can, even if it means breaking lines. Um, tr try not to, I mean, they don't have to be in the middle of the image. You can move them around or choose a different text style so it doesn't cover your image. And uh, play with the background colors a little bit. Um, another great thing to remember is, um, is, is words per frame. So usually the rule of thumb is you can read uh, two words per second. And this is not including words like a or is or the, because we don't really read them. We kind of skip over them. But this is, for example, one, two, three, four, five words. This should be at least two and a half, three seconds on screen. So if I see that this kind of footage is less, I would extend it a little bit more, right? Just to give it a little time. And you don't want things to be rushed. You kind of want them to, to have enough time on the screen. Um, another thing I would suggest is leaving the outro for as long as you can. Because at the end of the day, this is your company's information. And what happens is if you make a short outro, then the video kind of like ends. And then Facebook or Instagram, or whatever, just puts a watch again over it. But if you leave this, I mean, even for eight seconds, I mean, it doesn't cost you really anything if your video is under 15 or under 30 or whatever. And you leave users with a lot more time looking at your logo, at your call to action, and at your business domain. The outro, by the way, has different designs as uh, from the textiles. So just make sure to choose something that works for you and your uh, company. And... Um, something went wrong here. I've lost my things. I am going to go back to the planner. Um, and one last thing about uh, editing the videos is adding a clear call to action in your app. Visit my website, follow us for more information, and always add your logos um and leave enough room at the end for the outro for people to read okay i see we're to almost totally out of time and do we have outro to edit with our contact info asks us um your contact if you're talking about the the ai then it it should already automatically put it in your outro when you put your website and your uh, information when you create the videos. But if not, yes, I mean, again, you can change, edit anything either using the classic editor or the promo AI editor and uh, ask it to change the call to action at the outro frame or whatever. But your logos, everything, your brand colors should automatically be scraped by uh, promo AI. Um, okay, uh, I'm just going to tell you that <laughs> this webinar and all the previous webinars are on our YouTube channel, promo.com. You can check for them in the AI playlist um, and everything we've covered plus more uh, instructional videos are there. So go out and check that. And thank you very much. I'm just trying to like finish before uh, we get cut off by the Zoom. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for joining. <laughs>